Hello everyone, welcome to GoVM Lab. In previous lecture, we have learned about how do we go and create container or placeholder for our auto deployed host. We also learned how do we go and import a software depot to our vCenter server appliance auto deploy configuration. In this lecture, we are going to learn about how do we go and create a custom depot and we create custom image profile from the standard profile provided by VMware. We will also learn how do we go and create auto deploy rules. So let's get started. As you could see that we are logged into our vCenter server named as sbvcsa01.govmlab.local. Let's go and browse our vCenter server. As you do see that within that vCenter server, we have a data center created named as SB data center. Now let's go and browse our data center. And now as you could see that we have a cluster named as SB cluster within that data center. But now we do have a, a new folder created named as auto deployed host. So that folder is going to be a placeholder for our auto deployed host. What does that mean? It means that whenever our new host, which will be getting deployed as a part of auto deploy configuration, those hosts will be added to this particular folder. Same as, same as you do see a host like SB ESXi01 host, which is actually got added to our SB cluster. So the same hierarchy, we would be seeing it for our auto deployed host, but those hosts would be getting added to our placeholder what we have defined it here. Now let's go to our auto deploy configuration. So click on menu, click on auto deploy. And as you do see that in our previous lecture, we have already discussed about importing software depot to our vCenter server appliance. And we also discussed about standard images as well as our no tools images. So now it's a time for us to go and create our custom depot. So, for, so how do we go and create a custom depot for creating a custom depot click on new now as when we click on new we do see a option called custom depot so click on custom depot now give some name to that custom depot so we'll give a name as govm lab let's say that we are actually creating uh, this particular customized image for our dell servers so let's give a name as govm lab dell depot so what does that mean is that that's a depot we are creating for our Dell servers, which is required a customized image. And now click on add. Now, as you do see that our new software depot has been created successfully with the named as GoVM Lab Dell Depot. Now, if you see that we don't have any image profile right now in this particular depot, and we also don't have any software packages in this particular depot. And the reason is pretty obvious because there is no image profile we have actually imported in this particular depot like what we have done it in our previous lecture. As we are going to create a custom ESXi image for our OEM specific vendors. So what we're going to do, we actually going to take our standard image as a reference image. And in that reference image, we're going to make uh, modifications based on our business requirements. So how do we go and do that? So we actually going to clone that standard image into our this newly custom created depot. So for importing that existing image into our newly created depot, click here, go to our previous GoVM lab depot, what we have created, click on image profile and let's take this standard image as a reference image. So we are going to use standard image as a reference image in our newly created depot and then we will customize that particular image based on our requirement. So click on that particular image, click on clone. So we are actually making a clone of this standard image. Now what we're going to do, we're going to say that this is the clone of clone of original ESXi. image. Now the vendor remains the same. That's VMware incorporation. Description is fine. The most important thing is depot because we want to add this 
ESXi image, that original ESXi image or our standard ESXi image to our software depot, what we have created. And that's our custom software depot. So click on next. And now look at that. Now it shows us as an acceptance level as a partner supported. Now what we're going to do, the first thing is basically we are actually going to make it as an acceptance level is VMware certified. That's the first change we are going to make in this particular image. So select here and we're going to mark this particular image as VMware certified. So we have changed the acceptance levels from partner supported to VMware certified. Click on next, click on finish. And as you do see that, let's now let's browse back to our Dell depot and look at that. As you do see that this particular image got successfully added to our custom depot what we have created. And if you do see that the acceptance level has also got changed of this particular image from partner supported to VMware certified. And now we have an option to click on export. So what we can do, we actually can go and export this particular image profile. Now before exporting that particular image profile and downloading it, let me also show you that how do we go and create a new image profile. Let's give a name as IBM custom image. When that is going to be, let's say IBM, for example. Now description, this image will be used for IBM servers. Now click on next. This particular wizard gives us option of selecting what all the webs I would like to be part of this particular image. So you can actually select whether you want VMware certified or partner supported based on your requirement. So let's select VMware certified and let's say I don't want to select all the 135 packages. If you do see that, it tells us that you have selected all the 136 packages. I don't want to select all the 136 packages just for our own, own understanding. Maybe let me pick up some of the drivers just for understanding so that we can show you that how do we go and customize any image. So as you could see that I have selected very few software packages for this particular image and let's leave the other packages which we do not need it. Now click on next. It tells us that profile does not contain a bootable ESXi image. The reason that because we have not selected all these boot bank related packages and it also depends. It also says that package dependencies are not fulfilled because we have selected some packages which have a dependency on some other packages as well. So if we what we have to do it is basically Let's take a other approach. Let's select all of these packages and let's remove some of the packages which we do not need it. For example, let's say I don't need net CDC ether miscellaneous drivers. Maybe I don't need even thousand E net FCOE and force death as you could see that. So I don't need net even thousand E driver for our understanding. Now click on next and look at that. It's fine. It's giving us a warning saying that you have to select this particular drivers as well, which requires it, but that's okay. We can ignore these things. Now click on finish and you will see that. Look at that. We got a new custom image got created specifically for our IBM servers for our understanding perspective. And you do see that the vendor is IBM and this profile has only 129 software packages because we have deselected some of the packages for our own custom requirement. So now look at the, the now you might have realized that this image builder has given us so much of flexibility. This auto deploy image builder service is really helping us out to create custom images in a much simplified way. Now let's say that you have actually created this IBM custom images which only contains 129 software packages which is which is our requirement. Now you want to download that particular image and you want to boot your ESXi host or your physical host with this custom image. So how do you want to do that and right there that's where we have an option called download image profiles. What does that mean? We can actually go and download this custom image in ISO format as well as the zip format. So click on export and look at that. As soon as we click on export, 
it give us option do you want to generate a bootable iso image from this particular image profile or you would like to generate a zip bundle so now let's go and select the zip bundle because the zip bundle we would be using it as a part of our auto deploy configuration but as i said if you have a requirement of iso you can also download this iso format and then you can boot your physical host with that custom image click on ok and you will see that it has started downloading this particular image profile so very soon we'll see that we'll see option here to download this particular image profile as of now it's just exporting that image profile in the zip bundle look at that we do see a download option right there to download this image profile so click on download and you do see that the download is in progress now click here and look at that our custom image is ready our ibm custom image is actually available in the compressed zip format and we can use this particular image to boot our ibm servers for which this image has been created as you could see that our image profile has been successfully created as well as downloaded into the zip format now if you want to delete this profile it's pretty straightforward click on delete and you can delete this particular image profile and as you do see that our ibm image profile has been successfully deleted if you want to clone that image you can clone it compare it move it or you can export it as well so that's ui is pretty intuitive and this particular image builder ui has really simplified our our job in terms of creating customized image for a oem specific hardware this conclude our lecture on how do we go and create a custom depot and how do we create a custom image profile stay tuned for our next lecture where we are going to learn about auto deploy rules how do we go and associate our esxi host going to engage in our auto deployment process with the right image profile as well as the host configurations we hope you enjoyed this lecture thanks for your time please like share and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you